So thanks for being here. Um, you have the choice of things that work in whatever uh, project you're currently working on. I really kind of put this Ooh. amazing party together because yeah. I thought it's fun. Yeah, the other two. Oh, hey, Raquel. The, 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 the muted one. Um, anyway, it's good, good for us to all get together and see each other and see what each other are working on and um, just be inspired. And sometimes, you know, just playing with color lifts your mood. I know it does for me. So um, honestly, I think I, when I booked this, I was feeling kind of like I was personally in a funk. And so it's like, I'm going to force myself to do this. And so that's what this, this is about. Um, and today I'm feeling happier, but I'm glad that it was, a, uh, you know, that it came together. Um, I am going to get started on my end. Um, Raquel, are you working on something? Um, are you, you going to follow along? Are you doing a, a lesson kind of thing or are we just I doing can. Yeah, I'll just kind of talk my way through what I'm doing. Um, but what I want to do is encourage you guys to share whatever you're doing too. So maybe, um, I'll just kind of talk through what I'm doing on this end and, um, then I'll stop and kind of check in with each of you if you want to. We'll just kind of play it by ear. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I haven't even got my paints out yet. I just came back from Smart and Final. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you'll figure it out. And, and I was telling Julie, you know, sometimes just watching somebody paint can be um, inspirational or it can be calming, almost like a meditative practice. So. Yeah. Um, I've been doing okay. a ton of coloring lately. So that's what I have out right now. But I oh, good. Yeah. Good. It's relaxing. Um, question for you guys. When you look at this, is it backwards? No. No. Okay. Because when I look at it in my screen, it's no. backwards. So I'm learning. So that's good for me to know. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to start laying down colors. I'm choosing today to work with uh, the magenta color as well as purple and kind of a turquoise color. And I'll probably be adding some white into each of those, just because when you add white into a solid color, it will um, give it a little bit more depth and texture and dimension. I gotta get my little smock on here though. So what I'm gonna do on this canvas here behind me is I'm just gonna cover it with colors, those colors that were really speaking to me today. And I'm not gonna put down um, really a, a thick layer of paint by any means because I want this first layer to dry pretty quickly. Um, let me think, what do I want to do? I'm going to do circles because usually if I'm not feeling focused, I'll just paint some circles and then, I don't know, it's like stirring a pot, right? It's, um, hey Jason, it's like a... Uh, He's waving. <laughs> it, it's uh, calming to me. I'm just going to start putting some circles down here and there. Karen, I have a question. Yeah. I was thinking, would it be weird to paint over what we painted last time? Or should, I don't know. I don't know if I should just leave that the way it is or start. I paint over my canvases all the time. So that is for you to decide. That's, um, I have one canvas that has over a hundred layers on it. It's just, oh my gosh. And I just use it for that. But sometimes it's like you paint something and if you don't love it 100% or if it's not done or it's not just right, it's probably a layer. Well, I thought it might be cool to just do it on that same canvas every time you do one with us. and just. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to grab some paint. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's fun. You could even document that too. Like here it was after this lesson and then, you know, the next lesson. Yeah. I'm gonna um, so I'm going to show you. The date too, the I think. The white here, like I said, if you just take some white and put it in with that color, it gives you, I don't know, it's just not so flat looking. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my paint. Okay. I am going to just get what's left of the paint here on, on my brush. I don't want to necessarily, um, get it all wet and, you know, rinse it off. I'm trying to use all of the paint that's here. Karen, I have a question. This is yes. put my hand up. Um, and my question is, 
what kind of paint are you using? And maybe you've gone over that and I missed no, it. No, I haven't gone over it. I was hoping to, um, to go through that. And I figured somebody's gonna ask. So good job, Julie. I am using acrylic paint, but you could do, well, really for the layering that I'm gonna do today, um, acrylic is probably the best bet. Okay. Because if you were using something like oil or something, it's not gonna dry in time. Yeah, I, got so, I got some from Michael's a long time ago, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so any kind of acrylic paint is really great. Um, and it can be something really cheap. Um, I use really inexpensive craft paints a lot um, because I like to paint with lots of layers and the more inexpensive paints like um, here's Sargent art you can get a big bottle like this online okay. for like six dollars or something um, or you could use a bigger more quality paint like Liquitex you know a heavier okay. body if you wanted to okay so there's different levels you know like the Really, the student paints, the, um, the cheaper paints are thinner, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I have this giant it. box of paints at Michael's oh. with a coupon for like $15, and these are all the colors. Oh, that's great. They're just little tubes, but I mean, for, you know. That's all you need. these colors they make me happy and it's okay if you're if you're following along um, or if you do this you know in the future and you just start with putting down circles uh, it's okay to overlap circles too because then what that does when you start overlapping your circles a little bit it starts looking like a nice field of bubbles or uh, you know you can kind of see the depth you can see there's oh that one's in front of that one it makes our eye happy when you do that. I hear Amy is on, on Lori's phone. I'm happy to see you here, Amy. And when you're all done with this, I can't wait to see what your art looks like. Now I'm going to put some purple in my painting. And really all I'm doing is using the colors that speak to me and I'm covering for the most part my canvas. This is just our first layer because I'm going to put something on top of this. I don't know what I'm going to paint yet. Oh, I know what I'm going to paint. I will paint when this is done, I'm going to paint on this layer a, um, some sort of flower because I'm feeling the whole bloom of uh, spring nowadays. I am feeling the, oh, I'm going to paint a lotus flower. That's what I'm going to do because I'm feeling that um, we're right now kind of sitting in that muck, sort of a little bit stagnant, um, but from sitting in this weird mucky place, we will bloom from that. And that's what lotus flowers are all about. So that's what I'll paint. I'll paint a lotus flower. So really, I'm just trying to get some colors down in the back. This is, this is going to be my backdrop for the star of the show, which is going to be our lotus. nice sometimes too when you do that overlapping of colors they start blending and there's this kind of fine line where you can keep blending those colors and they just look really really pretty and you just don't want to get to the point where you see the mud so if you start seeing those colors get a little bit muddy um, back off and you know um, clean your brush and start start again but it's so fun to 
see how they all go together. Add a little white. So I could just do this and then I'd be happy. So I, you know, painting for me is um, meditation and it's a way for me to easily co connect through meditation and kind of let the other world that we're currently living in kind of go, push that to the side. Um, and I can sort of, you know, get, you get to that place where you lose time and you just don't hear what's going on around you. That's kind of, um, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how it feels to me. So I could just paint circles all day and be perfectly happy. And with that comes the knowing that we're painting without any expectations. We're not painting a masterpiece. We're just painting and putting color down and playing. And while I'm doing this, I have incense going in the back background. It's um, burning Nag Champa right now, so I'm kind of cleansing. It's sort of like smudging myself in a way. I'm cleansing my house with that, but I'm, I just got a big whiff of it. It's like, oh yeah, that's going. So it's like, okay, let let the stuff go that doesn't serve me. Just let in the goodness. So it's kind of a cleansing, freeing. Makes me feel flowy when I paint. When you're mixing your white, are you mixing it all the way in or are you just putting it next to the color to pick it up? Um, this is what my palette looks like right now. Um, so I'm not so much mixing it on here, but sometimes I do. If you give me about 10 minutes, these are all going to be mushed together probably and dipped in each other, you know, but for right now, I'm just because it's still kind of wet, uh, you know, so I can just put that white into there if I want to. I think what I'm going to do now is just I want it to dry. Um, so I'm going to use my finger and kind of just smudge things together. And that gives me the ability to kind of wipe off any, you know, heavy paint that's there. How are you guys doing? Good. If you want to answer, go ahead and unmute yourself and then and go ahead and speak. I know, Rocco, why don't we start with you because you're unmuted. Oh, um, it's doing good. I didn't get too far yet, but Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So see what um, Raquel, can you hold it up again? She has, so she took a painting, those kind of um, blocky squares. That was from another color therapy lesson. But now she has those circles. Can you put it back up again, Raquel? Those circles, um, see those, they, you can see the transparency. So see how you can see the block through the circle? That's what you get with the cheaper paint, really, or by doing that kind of, thanks, Raquel, you can put it down. Good job, Vanna. Um, you can <laughs> get that transparency going. Um, so I love that. That was a perfect example. And you, Raquel, you may not want to cover your whole thing with circles. It's up to you because you already have a lot of color on there. Yeah, I might just leave some showing. But that would be a beautiful would... background for a lotus flower, really. You're good to go with that. That would be cool. Oh, you no, know, it's weird. It's showing. Oh. Camera is showing this is blue, but all the blue is actually purple. I see purple. Oh, when I see myself, it's all like royal blue. Yeah, it's interesting. I think when we see ourselves, there's some weird things going on. That's why I asked you about the, you know, the reflection yeah. thing. Well, even when I take a picture with my cell phone, usually purple comes out blue for some reason. It's really weird, and it's interesting. I that with my phone. But yeah, when I look at it and it, uh, it looks real. It's purple. Now it looks good. Thank you. I'm about to put blue. Um, Julie, how are you? How are you doing? You want? I'll unmute you so you don't have to worry about it here. Uh, unmute. Uh oh, I guess you have to do it yourself. I'm here. Hi. Um, well, I'm just sort of starting so i really have nothing to show i'm okay. actually opening different colors of paint and i started painting, i started painting leaves and then i got a splodge of yellow and i'm not sure where i'm going to go with this but i'll show you when i'm done yeah um, what, what colors are you working with um well i started with a nice green and now mm. i'm on yellow good it's nice springy kind of colors yes exactly yay exactly. okay 
Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Lori, what colors are you using if you want to unmute yourself? All right, so I'm feeling this with my fingers and mine is, it's tacky, but it's not, ooh, look at that if I run my fingers through. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna put these, I don't have a lot of flow on my canvas right now because it's pretty dry, but I like that wavy smudge. I don't know if you can see that. See, you can see, you really can't, but it kind of puts a little bit of different texture in there. But I'm liking these colors, so I'm going to put my, I'm going to do the lotus flower this way. So like sorry, I have a question. I mean, um, sorry, Karen, I have a question. Yeah. Um, are you using the same paintbrush or do you have different paintbrushes for every color? Um... It's Mine's not well. rinsing off too well. <laughs> Yours is not what? Rinsing off too well. Gotcha. Yeah, I have one that's not rinsing off too well as well. Um, okay. So then I pick another one if it's just like, oh, that one's so messy, I'm going to need to go to the sink. Got it. I just set those aside. But right now I have three brushes going. But okay. um, with this next step in the process, as I'm painting this lotus flower, I'm probably not going to switch brushes for quite some time. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with white because I'm gonna kind of um, try drawing or outlining this, this lotus flower. And sometimes it's easier than taking, uh, you know, if you're outlining something, white is a little bit more gentle than black is. It just makes it a little bit easier for us to just, you know, dive in. So, the lotus flower, I always kind of start with, if I have one around here to look at. I don't know if that shows up. Yeah, there's one. See, that's one at the end of my paintbrush. That's a, you can barely see it, but that's a lotus flower. So I'll kind of use that a little bit here. Start with this kind of like teardrop shape. Now, if I mess this up, it's okay because I'm just going to paint over it and, you know, so nothing is permanent. Um, let's see. I feel like I need something to look at. Okay, well, I'll just get out of my head. So that lotus has this kind of like oil teardrop kind of bud that's what this is would be a bud and then it has these other little ones that kind of come off very um close and then they start as the, as the lotus flower opens it up it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger kind of like an artichoke almost Mm. I feel like I want to give this guy like a little bit of a base here. And then when you look at a lotus flower, you know, they're, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So if you're following along with me, um, don't feel like you have to completely do exactly what I'm doing because it's okay. No two lotus flowers are alike. Similar, but not always alike. I 
I'm going to mute my barking dog for a moment. If you're at this stage where you're working with your lotus flower, it's okay if you're looking at it and thinking, oh my god, this kind of looks like a mess. That's normal. Just go sit. Let's see, so I'm gonna bring a bigger leaf down here. We want our lotus to be balanced. Hey Mo, where are you? So like I'm going to take this leaf here. It's too big to fit on this. But I, when I'm painting, I like to make sure that there's always some part of the object that I'm painting going off of the canvas a little bit. So I don't like things to be super, super centered. Um, I like things to go off the canvas because it adds a little bit of like, hmm, it keeps going. I like that. That's the thing about art. You do what you like. I'm going to go up to, so we've got some big leaves up here, keeping it nice and rounded. So I'm just sort of shaping it as I go. point where you're going to want to start filling some of the leaves in with color. And this is where we can really use our, our fingers and kind of wipe away some of the um, paint if you want, and you get those other colors from the background. I feel like I need to bring my myself closer to you here. Let me see. Guys. the look of that. I think I need another leaf, another petal, leaf, petal. I don't know. What is it? I just wanted to look kind of balanced. So then you just kind of start filling in some of these leaves. We want to make sure that you want to kind of keep the outline, I guess is what I'm saying, um, because we can at this point tell where the individual leaves are. But once you get, you know, your flower looking the way you want it, go ahead and um, start filling in just with a white, white, kind of just like a, it's almost like ghost painting. You just, Smudging some eyeshadow almost like if you're putting eyeshadow on your eyelids, you just take a little bit of paint and get it going in there. Um, I'm out of paint on my brush pretty much, so I'm going to 
I'm going to um, think about the color of the inside of my bed in here. I'm feeling yellow. Let's see. Right, this, let's see how this looks in here. Oh, I like that. Kind of fluorescent. So this is going to get somewhat covered up, but you know when you're looking at a flower and you see the, the inside part of, of the bud, right? And it's, it's like, oh, you can tell what color it's, it's going to be at some point. So I'd like this lotus flower to have some sunny yellow in it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just getting the colors kind of on there and you know what you're painting. If it doesn't look like what it looks like to you and other people's eyes, that doesn't matter here because we're just um, we're painting to just chillax. So I like that yellow and it kind of looks like a flame. Like that. Like a little bit of orange in there, like a little flame inside that lotus flower. And I like this flower because of, I mean, right now it's looking good. It's like, we're all going to bloom and everything's going to be good. A little bit of that orange on here, so I'm going to spread that out. And look at other petals. I want to spread all the color love. Sort of like a pizza too, right? Or cinnamon toast. Let's say this, the canvas is cinnamon toast. The whole thing. So the canvas is the bread. The first layer of color was the yummy butter. I would choose Tillamook butter. And then all of these other smidges of color are all the bits of cinnamon and sugar that you can sprinkle throughout. But you don't want all the cinnamon and sugar over here. You want it all over your canvas, right? Or most of it. It's like you want a lot of spread out pepperoni on your pizza. It brings it balanced. And you don't have to give any thought where you're spreading it or how you're spreading it. And you don't have to be neat with your paintbrushes. You can just scrub, unless you have some really fancy schmancy set, then maybe be careful with those ones. But. Okay, let's see how we're doing on time. It's like a half hour has gone by already. It goes by so fast, huh? I can barely hear you, Raquel. Wait, what? Oh, I, not that, I thought you were talking. I could barely hear you. Oh, I see it does go too fast. Uh -huh. That's how I end up till 2 in the morning coloring and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know yeah. it, it's 2 in the morning. It's like, oh my god. That's, so good. that's okay, though, right? Because it's, yeah. it's relaxing. It's not like we're doing much at the moment right now, right? Yeah. We have to get early. I'm kind of um, shading in a little bit more of my leaves. So it's just little by little um, that we're building. I'm using white now again. And at this stage, sometimes I start to think about where's the sun going to be coming from. So where do I want, do I want to put some, you know, highlights on my tips? Um, I'm going to pretend that the sun is coming from down here. Going ching, 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 ching coming this way. So as I'm painting and filling in, I'm going to make sure that, you know, the sun's hitting these, these petals and giving it lots of the light colors. But you don't have to think about that if you don't want to. It's all good. Sharing tips. 
So if the sun was coming like this, down here, the sun's not really going to get into this section of the painting if it's coming this way. So wherever the shade would be, you don't want to put the white part in the shady parts. So the white on the sunny parts and something darker on the shady parts. Is anybody feeling um, anxious about any of this at this point? Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. You doing okay, Julie? Uh, yes, but it's a terrible mess. It looks nothing like yours, but I don't care at this point because I'm just learning. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. And, and, and it's, I mean, as we're all artists, so here's the thing. So I'm going to look at yours or Raquel's or Lori's when I get to see it or um, Amy's and I'm going to think, oh, that's so good. You know, I should have done this. Or I should have done that. Um, so we all have that little voice in our head that's like, oh my God, it doesn't look anything like, like hers because we're just like, well, yeah. And the other thing too, is I, I started with a new canvas and I had these supplies from Michael's for probably 10 years. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have all the colors I want. Yeah. So I'm a little, but I'm okay. I'm just playing around right just now. Play. Yeah, that's, all, that's what it's all about. Good. Yeah. Good. And um, I, I should be able to post this recording too if you want to re-watch it and paint along, which is nice because then you can pause it and come back to it. Mine looks nothing like that, but I haven't even started my Lotus yet. Cause my no, it's okay. It's a muddy mess right now. I'm purposely trying to stay a little bit ahead of you. Hey, Anthony, um, just uh, for the lesson part, part. So don't feel like you need to keep up with me. So again, this is something you can come back to and go at your own pace. It went from really bright to really dark. Wow. Remember what it looked like before? Oh, that's okay. I'm feeling the urge to use um, this ink. Let me grab it. At least I can show you guys how it works. Oh, it's silver. Purple. Cool. Uh, Liquitex sells these inks. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but they're in the same um, section as, you know, all the paints and stuff. And this is acrylic. It's just really watered down. But I love drips, and I love drips, especially with lotus flowers. You guys can do the same thing by just watering down the paint that you have and dripping it on with a brush or whatever. But watch what I do just to see if you even like it, you know? I've seen those, but I didn't know what you do with them. Yeah, you can do lots of things with them. You can paint with them. That's cool. Yeah. And then I might put some yeah, she should have more. That might depend on the head. roots in there. Yeah, this guy needs a friend. But if you want to change out that white to the black, the black is thicker. It might be more comfortable. <clears throat> um. And these paints are good too. So like I put this purple down here and I'm going to put a little bit of silver into the purple and it's really kind of cool because this has created somewhat of a little paint river. Yeah. And if you, so it's already got the flow and the current going. So if I just kind of drop it in the same energy or in the same area, it's going to pick up that flow. Or maybe I want to do it separate. But I like mixing them. I think it looks really cool. It is cool. And again, you don't have to have these fancy paints. You can just get your paints really wet and drip them on. If you have like a little bottle dripper from medicine, I always have one in my tools. This is an old one that I always just kind of keep in there. It's another little handy paintbrush, just a different way of painting.
All right, so I want to let my little ripples dry, my little things. Well, it doesn't take that long, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is start outlining a little bit with a darker color, probably like black. I think I'll bring some black in. It's hard to do sometimes at this stage when you've got a bunch of colors going and it's like black. Ah, I don't want to use black, that's scary. But it makes your eyes happy. It's not going to look finished unless you have some good black in there. All right, so I'm just going to focus on the outlines of my, my flower. And I probably won't outline it on every edge. Kind of just figure it out as I go. And at this point, you're kind of figuring out, okay, which one is in front and which one is in back. So you kind of find that little bit of overlapping of petals at this point. And again, you guys, no stress in terms of um, keeping up. Just know that you can look at this later and just keep going wherever you're at, at your own pace. So I like that fancy little swooshy tip. Do that. Okay, I'm going to not do this yet because these drips aren't dry. Ooh, these drips aren't dry. You know what these colors remind me of? Um, Amy, who's online, you can't see her right now, but she has, I believe, a painting that I did of an ant, of an elephant sitting cross-legged doing like a yoga pose. It's really cute, and it has these same colors in it, I think. I'm thinking of Amy's elephant as I'm painting this. <laughs> The interesting thing about color too, um, some people, you know, you're just drawn to what you're drawn to. So just go with that. I find that sometimes I try to change up my color palette and maybe work with some more pastels. And as hard as I try, I can't get away from the colors that I typically paint with. So it's just my, my vibe, my color, my style. Um, so you'll probably find that with yourself. Like, gosh, do I always go to those colors? Whether you're thinking about it or not. The answer is probably yes. I think I'm using a brush that's too wide for my lotus flower. It's just looking really thick. Thick. Yeah. Uh, for, um, you know, when you're doing outlines and things, a smaller brush is better. When you're just kind of putting down color or filling in space, then the bigger brush is better. But, you know, use this time to play around with different size brushes and, and know you can keep um, adding layers. So, yeah, it's all good. It's like a never ending painting, right? Never ending gobstopper. I'm putting a little bit more dark in here where I know, um, remember our sun is coming down from here. Ching, 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 ching. So this is a very shady place right here. I want to make sure that those shady places are getting a little bit more of that dark color. I 
I typically try to um, mix my black with another color. And since I use that ink, um, I'm going to put some purple in with the black. Just sort of a little artist's tip that, um, you know, like if you put magenta in with your black or purple in with your black, uh, looking at the black, you're not going to know that it's there, but there's something that it does that it's very comforting to your eye and it makes your um, painting pop a little bit more. That's cool. Yeah. Now that my, my drips are pretty much dry, I want to make sure that I am painting over them. I don't want to avoid them and go around them. I want to paint over them because that's going to give us one more layer of dimension. Help this look a little bit more 3D. Anybody have any questions at this point? Okay. That's good. <laughs> no. Oh, thanks, Jason. <laughs> I showed him. He said, "He said not too bad." <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll take that. Not too bad, especially when it's coming from a family member. That's probably pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Right. Suck. Oh God. Yeah. Really. It looks like I'm finger painting. So on this, um, you know how I kind of put some of those uh, white areas up here? I'm going to put some of those darker areas over here. You know what my problem is? I can never get the right side to look like the left side. It always looks different. Always. What is that, Raquel? I never get the right side and the left side looking the same. They always look different. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Look at the next lotus flower you see. Ooh, that just dripped. So that's my natural paint dripping. I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, look at the next lotus flower you see, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be the same on both sides because part of it's reaching up to the sun, and the other part is waking up. The breeze is blowing. You know, there are different stages of growth. That's true. Oh wow, that was really bad. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Well, you know, I'm looking at my phone at a, like a, like an icon or like a, um, oh, yeah, of a lotus flower. So it's perfect, you know? Yes. Eyes are perfect. I'm looking it just doesn't face. have to be. So when I look at that and I look at this, it's like, you know, but it's not a real flower I'm looking at. So it's like a drawing, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, and if you guys are ever stuck and you're like, okay, I want to draw or paint an owl. Or like what Ra like Raquel just did it now. She looked up like a simple image for a lotus flower. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll type in Google uh, simple lotus flower tattoo outline or just tattoo. And it's it gives you just the black and white version of whatever that is. And it's um, it's really all you need to go on. And then you can just follow that simple outline and make it yours. You can see it, but this is what I'm using. Oh, that's so great. That's what you're, you're doing? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, now show me what you're doing. Can you show me? And because it's, we don't want it to be perfect. Let me just fix the <laughs> You're so funny. You know, I'm a perfectionist and it's not good. Well, I don't, it's not good to be a perfectionist because it's, I know, I know. Um, it's, it's, it's something to balance, though, because it's good to have to want things right. It's good to have that vision in your head of how you want things to look. Um, but you don't want the stress that comes along with it. So when you get to that point where it's like, oh, this is fully stressing me out. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Look at your circles. That looks really beautiful on that other background. Thanks. I love it. I kind of left some of 
love red over there. And I just realized I left love untouched. So that's, that's okay. That's okay. It's beautiful. Be yeah. proud of that. Yeah. Actually, I didn't do so bad. You did not? It's beautiful. If I have the right brush next time, it'll be easier because this brush is fat and it's like fraying and. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I had already started it with that. So I didn't want to go grab another brush and then have thin lines yeah. and fat lines. I'm not sure if I want to color it in. I kind of like the color showing through it. It looks pretty the way it is. You think I should do the black outline or just leave it? I kind of. I don't know. I, th I think you should do whatever you want to do. Play around with it because we don't, you know, if it gets messed up, that's okay. Right? True. It's all good. Hey, where's um, Sherry? I just realized she's okay. I don't know. Mm. Something probably came out. She'll probably watch the replay. Hey, Sherry from the replay. So I want to go back over all my little lines, make sure I got my leaves, which it looks like I did. A little more in here. I'm not going to use any more black right now. I'm going to put in maybe some pink from before. If I feel like I need to put anything in. I'm getting muddy, muddy brush. I'm going to wash it. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do some of this purple. Well, I know, but I think about one of them. I don't want to get a sticky one in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you just light into it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, Did you hear Karen talking about that? No. Uh -uh. Oh. oh, that's funny. Karen? Yes. Hi, it's Julie. I have a question before we get cut off. Um, yeah. What do we do with all the, um, like, I have a water jar with paint in it and my paintbrushes. Can we rinse it in the sink? Or? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As long as it's not chunky, you know, like, um, if you have big chunks of stuff, yeah. uh, like, you don't want your paint going down because eventually it's going to, you know, oh. solidify and turn to plastic. And that's not going to be good. But, yeah, if it's just the dirty water, you can totally do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then just a little bit of, um, if you take your, your brush and put a little bit of dish soap in your hand, and then take your brush and swish it, swish it, and then oh. rinse it. It's a really great, easy way to clean them. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I like um, how this blue right here came through uh, from the background. So I like this blue and yellow together. So this is part of, you know, it's one of the circles in the background. So I like how that kind of pops through. So when I see like this color combination right here makes me really happy, I'm just gonna leave that part. So this, this time I'm just like uh, uh, filling in, or not filling in necessarily, but just, you know, adding color here and there. but leaving those things that I really, um, you know, like when I see them. And this is pretty much how it's going to, I'm just probably going to go through and do a little bit more of another layer of light and then another layer of dark. And um, then it'll probably be somewhat done from there. Julie, you had your hand raised. Did I answer your question already? That's really pretty, Karen. Thanks. Jason said it looks really good. Oh, thank you. Um, another little... I got a pretty good one. <laughs> you got a what? A pretty good <laughs> I got a pretty good You got a really good one. Okay. Take what you can get. 
Um, sometimes like, I, I like to put some little marks of interest, maybe like um, just I'll put some paint on my finger and I'll put some dots on the side. Nobody's going to know this is my finger probably. Um, you know, but it just adds a little bit of interest. And if I wanted to, um, you know, add a little bit more color here and there. But your hands are really great tools. Again, I'm laying down this color where the sun would be. So I'm just kind of putting more, more light on top of that dark that I just put down. This is most certainly how you, you don't have to paint this way ever. This is just how I like to paint. I'm just sharing my way. But you could put gobs of paint down first if you wanted to. I just happen to like the whole layering thing. I'm watering down some of my paints because when I paint, it's more opaque. Oh, because you probably have a heavy, um, a heavy white or a heavy um, paint that you're working with, huh? Is it kind of thick? Um, yeah, kind of, but I, I watered it down quite a bit. Like you can see, like right here where I did that. Um, there. Oh, yeah. And that blue. Mm hmm That's perfect. Yeah, it's almost like if you have um, tissue paper, you know, and then you get it wet and you yeah. layer it over each other, layer over layer, and it gets that kind of neat layered look. You're kind of doing the same thing. left. Um, does anybody have any questions or suggestions or anything you want to share? There's a kitty. We'll start with Raquel. <laughs> Say hi, Meow Meow. Look. Oh, he's trying. Okay. There hi, Meow Meow. Meow Meow, hi. Um, oh, sorry. Jeez. Um, no. Hi, right, this is Julie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was, no, I don't, I don't have anything to say. Go ahead. Oh, I just, um, I wanted to say it was really, really relaxing. Oh, good. And um, I didn't do anywhere near as good as, that's, my painting was nothing like yours. But I got, I got a lot of playing around done. So. Good. Totally Oh different. my gosh, it's beautiful. Wait, hold it up uh, to the, so we can see it better. Can you, oh. Oh, I love that. Oh, so I'm only holding it up because you'll see my lotus flower, it was all bright red. And then I thought, oh, this is looking like heaven and hell. This looks like a big fire and the sun. So I made a lotus thing out of it. That's I all. I see. It almost looks like a basket to me. Like, a, um, it almost yeah. looks like somebody's hands, like Pele, you know, with that volcano yeah. um, lava energy holding her hands like this. Right. Holding like a sun or something bright. <laughs> But it was it was a good exercise, and oh, good. I didn't want to, I didn't want anything perfect. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let me just mute my dog. No problem. I just said I didn't want anything perfect, so it was fine. I think oh. it looks awesome, Julie. I like it. I think it looks really um, good, Julie. I love the flow and the texture you have in that as well. <laughs> I like it. And Lori and Amy, you, I know we can't see you guys, uh, but you're online right now. Um, maybe later you can share, share what you've done. And anybody watching the replay, if you'd like to post your process or share any information or suggestions, um, we definitely would welcome that. So thank think, you. Yeah, and one question. You said we can paint over this. We can use yes. the same canvas and paint over it when it's dry. Oh, yeah. That's what I was figuring. Good. Yeah. 
you can paint and you could do that anyway. Like if you just don't want to look at that anymore, if, if something's bothering you, you can just paint your canvas white or paint it black or, you know, paint circles all over it, uh, cover it however you want to, but there's no wrong way to do it. It was great fun. Thank you. Very Thank much. You're so welcome. You. Good. So Bye. keep painting and um, maybe we'll do this again in the future. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah, we'll Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Oh, I'll end it for you. Here we go. <laughs> Mwah.